just um, make a full right of for the frame, and then I want to figure out. Luckily, he's going to be falling. It's going to be right over my shoulder. Bang! And then we'll be able to see where his shadow falls to. Pretty bright. It begins here with a small Polaroid. Over a period of months, perhaps a year, this Polaroid will become a life-size photograph that will be sought after by the world's wealthiest collectors and hang in one of the world's leading galleries. More than any other living artist, Jeff Wall is credited with propelling photography from its historically minor status within the art world to its current acceptance as contemporary art at its highest level. In Barcelona, Rodney Graham is opening two shows at once one a vast retrospective in Spain's most important museum of contemporary art, the other a show of new work at the Picasso Museum. Graham started in photography but has never been contained by it. Both shows exhibit the remarkable range of his creativity from painting and sculpture to books, installation, music and video, often laced with his trademark esoteric humor. Last year, John Baldessari was asked it by the very famous and important art magazine, Art Forum, who, from his point of view, is the most important, influential current artist. And John Baldessari answered Rodney Graham. I've got a film crew along No, please. <laughs> in Paris, Ian Wallace meets with his agent in preparation for his upcoming show at the Yvonne Lambert Gallery one of Europe's most prestigious private galleries. Wallace's new show features large-scale images that showcase his signature style, documentary snapshots juxtaposed with monochrome painting and embedded within an elegant graphic design. I like the idea of somebody looking at it and going in circles and gradually weaving together the narrative. As and I can see yeah. you goes around. Yeah, and exactly, all four corners. Yes, that okay. you see. It's yeah. very, very sharp, I yeah. think, extremely sharp. Wall, Graham and Wallace are the biggest art stars to ever come out of Canada. They have known one another for 40 years all come from Vancouver, Canada. All continue to live and work there. Their work has set in motion a distinct art culture in Vancouver, moving the city from a position of relative isolation to one at the leading edge of contemporary art. <laughs> 